Bullying is something everyone faces and people can be bullied for so many different reasons and it can even start with something as simple as chapped lips. Okay, so maybe I'm speaking from experience. I have been bullied since I was really young for my chapped lips, but don't even worry because today I am on the hunt to find the perfect lip balm. I'm gonna be testing from every popular brand out there to see which ones really work and which ones just make things worse. Starting with Road by Hailey Bieber. Woo! I'm so, so excited for this one. Actually, first of all, I wanna be a little bit more comfortable, so we're gonna change my clo- Oh. Okay, well, that was a lot easier than I thought. When I tell you that I am so excited, that's an understatement, but it's also pretty necessary. So I'm gonna be on the hunt, trying to find the perfect lip balm, cause your girl needs it, and I'm sure you can benefit from this too. So let's just get right on into it. Wait, I am so excited. I got the four different lip tints by Hailey Bieber, and these are so cute. Let's just get right into it. This one's called Ribbon. Beautiful. Oh, oh, wait a second. Okay, we're having a little bit of a, there we go. <gasps> First of all, we have to see if it smells good. Okay, this one doesn't have much of a scent, but that's okay. That's okay, we're gonna test it. Let's see. Okay, well, she is super juicy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Don't taste it. It does not taste good. Okay, but I would say that this one's actually super good. Your girl's got some juicy lips, but let's see if the other ones are just as good. All right, now that we have tested every single one of these Road by Hailey Bieber beauties, I forgot to also mention, we're going to be ranking them. If I'm supposed to be finding the perfect lip balm to cure this chapped lips and bullying, then we gotta add a tier list. So we've got number one on the tier list, which is the superb lip goals, baby. Second on the list is pretty great, and it's almost famous. The third one on the tier is pretty good, but we're going with meh. Like, mm. And the fourth on the tier list is lip balm fail. We do not want to see you here. You are out, out the door. So here's the thing. We're gonna be rating these lip balms based off of hydration, based off of the ingredients, because we do not want any bad ingredients on these babies. Am I right? As well as scent and of course packaging. What are we rating the road lip tints? I don't even know, I don't even know. Well, first of all, I'm gonna say based off of hydration, I'm feeling pretty good. My lips are feeling pretty juicy, pretty hydrated. So I'm gonna give them that one. But here's the thing, this is a little awkward. Um, based off of the ratings on the ingredients, <laughs> They're not looking too great, so I don't know about that one. Also, based off of scent, they don't really have a good scent. Yeah, I'm not really scenting anything, you know what I mean? The packaging is so cute. They are to die for, but I think this one's gonna have to go on the... Mm. We're not really feeling it, but they're still cute, and you best believe I'm gonna be still using these. Next on the list, we've got Lene. I have heard so many things about Laneige, so you best believe I had to get their lip sleeping mask, as well as Sydney Sweeney's go-to lip glowy balm. First of all, packaging. Packaging, I give it a 10 out of 10. So they got me on that one because I tend to buy things based off of the packaging. Maybe I should be changing that a little bit, but it's fine. Let's start off with this lip glowy balm. <gasps> okay, she is beauty, she is grace. This is to die for. <gasps> Cute! Oh, and it's, no it's not, no it's not silicone. But it is still so cute. Okay, scent, also a 10 out of 10. So they've got that for, going for them. Let's also try the sleeping mask, which is viral. Every single 10 year old Sephora kid has one of these. So obviously, oh cute, they came with a little applicator. I obviously had to get one too. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, wait, but I am loving this stuff. The grapefruit. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. If these things tasted as good as they smelt, things would be bad. I probably do not look very cute while I'm trying to put this on. But the applicator, I'll give them that. I think it's cute. I think it adds to it for sure. Okay, Laneige, you have my heart. This is so buttery and it smells amazing. The packaging is perfect. Now the only question is the ingredients. Okay, so I have some really sad news. These were rated that. Wait, that is so sad. These things are like amazing. You know what? I'm gonna just not believe the app. They got all of the other three. I have to put them in the almost famous. I mean, come on. These things are breaking the internet. One, they're adorable. Two, they smell amazing. Their ingredients may not be the best, but that's okay. We still love them and they still make us feel amazing. So I think they're pretty close to famous. If my lips don't come back moisturized, we can blame it on this because I have to wipe my lips every single time I apply any type of chapstick. My lips are probably like, but next up we have got Tower 28. I have seen Tower 28 also. Okay, wait a second, that packaging. <gasps> this is so cute. And they sent me the cutest little card. Thank you so much Tower 28. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, but we gotta focus. They sent me quite a few, oh boy. Quite a few lip balms. So we're starting off with the pink because your girl loves pink. I'd say their packaging, I'm gonna give it to them. I love these packages. I love the colors of them. I'm really hoping that at least one of these is going to make it onto the top of the tier list in the lip goals because I am in some desperate need of new lip balms. Might just be my favorite out of all of these. Packaging was good. There's no scent and I would say for personal preference, I don't they're kind of interesting. They feel a little bit more like lipsticks rather than lip balms, but let's see what the ingredients have to say about that. All right, so our ingredient teller has just shown us that these are also poor. Y'all, come on, we gotta get on our game with good ingredients. All of these would be top tier A-list lip goals if it weren't for the ingredients. These ones I'm gonna have to go with. They're cute and they're almost there, but I just can't. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. These popular brands are kind of letting me down over here. I'm kind of feeling a little sad. So the next one that we're going with is the basic, my bestie, Aquaphor. So many of you guys have actually recommended this one to me, so I bought it. I'm kind of loving it, and it really feels like exactly what its name is. It's very aqua-y, so let's put it to the test. I mean, I, I use this already all the, oh my gosh. Oh, brother. Gosh, I really hope I don't have to leave the house today because, oh my gosh, my lips look ragey right now. All the ones I've been using are lip tints and they are tinting my lips over here. This one feels, like I said, just like aqua, water, same thing. And it actually feels just like the first two that we did. There is no scent, it does not smell very great. Hydration is fan. Fantastic. Now the question is, how are the ingredients? Because, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I think that there's some favoritism over here with our little friend, because this one just got a hundred out of a hundred. So, I mean, I really don't want to be putting it in the lip goals, but it belongs in the lip goals, so. You heard it here, guys. Continue using Aquaphor. And maybe I'll just like put the lip tints over top, you know, so I'm still hydrating, but it looks good. Next up, we've got my favorite, my biggest obsession, Glossier. Okay, but is it Glossier or Glossier? Glossier. I'm gonna let you guys see it first because... Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, they sent me a little sample. Maybe I'll have to do something with that a little later. <gasps> I might cry. This is the cake. Okay, but first on packaging, you just blew it out of the water. 
These are so, I, I guess I should probably show you. These are so cute. All of their images show exactly what the lip balm is. And we're gonna try every single one of them. And are my lips gonna hate me? Probably. Am I gonna be happy though? Yes. 100%. So they've already got it going on the packaging. Which one should I start with? <laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna go with this one because it's shiny. The birthdaybomb.com. I love that the name is bomb.com. <gasps> and it's a pretty pink. Wait, that is the cutest thing. <laughs> okay, Glossier, Glossier, whatever it is. You got me on packaging. If I were to ever make a brand, I would do it kind of like this. Not this one exactly, but I love that it's like all different. There's a ton of colors. I need to just stop talking. I need to just try it. You best believe you girl may have just found her knight in shining armor. This stuff is so good. Here we go. Let's try all of them. Ooh, strawberry bot Dawn. Strawberry.com. No. Strawberry. Strawberrybomb.com. <gasps> that is cute. I love this packaging. Oh, it's so adorable. Oh boy. Oh boy. That looks tragic. Mangobomb.com. So cute. Lavender. I'm in love. Ooh, that's cute. Why does this look like paint? Yep. You use it on your lips. We got berrybomb.com and we got figbomb.com. And we're gonna put them both on my lips right now. Ooh, I love that. See, like, look how cute that is. All the different colors that are going on over here. Gosh, see, I love when they're scented, but it makes me want to eat it. Like, uh, no, it does not. No, it's cute. It smells great, but it does not taste great. Glossier, if it was up to me, I'd give you a 10 out of 10. I'd give you a 5.3. Yeah. Packaging was amazing. Hydration was fantastic. The smell was so good I could eat it. And when I did, it was disgusting. Now for the final part that I am actually starting to hate the most is our little friend over here who's turning into our frenemy, the ingredient tester. You know what? I've decided that I want to throw this little frenemy out the window because it's screwing up all of my dreams. These are the ratings that they got. I'm gonna take it as it's poor, but that doesn't mean it's hazardous. They've got some things that probably aren't the best for your lips, but I definitely think that these are still the very best for my lips. So I'm gonna go with Dang it. I want to give them those lip goals. Very best for my lip. I'm going to give them the lip goals. You heard it here first. We have our first lip goals. A tier, first tier, whatever you want to call it, tier winner. We're not quite yet done, but I think I'm going to use those ones forever now. So now for the next one. The Gizo, the honey infused lip oil. I do not have the package anymore because I've used this one a lot already. So maybe like we just will, you know, say goodbye to that because I don't want my heart crushed anymore. First of all, packaging is super cute. I love her packaging. I think it's amazing. The smell is fantastic. I used to think that this color was quite like poppy. But after putting all of those other ones on, it's actually super cute. My lips feel very, very plumpy, very hydrated. I will say though, I have used the Gizu Honey Infused Lip Oil. When it starts to come off and kind of fade, I don't feel my lips stay hydrated. That's the hardest part. I don't know about you, but that has been my biggest struggle is I feel like any lip balms, any chapsticks, whatever I put on my lips, they just end up like feeling even more like shriveled up and cracked when I'm not wearing it constantly. But if we're rating this one, this is actually what the rating is. We found one. We found one that finally was freaking accepted by our frenemy. Wow, try saying that 10 times over and over again. This one deserves more than anything to be in the lip goals because she really does give me lip goals right over here. Here we go, honey. 
she found her place right there. Round of applause. Round of applause. We finally, finally found one. This has been a struggle, but we're not done yet. We've got one more. Summer Fridays, baby. This brand has my heart. Their packaging is adorable, and I love the matte look. Oh, and they gave me a sample. They have even more of my heart now. But these are just so cute. If I were to make a lip brand, y'all best believe I'm gonna be incorporating all of this here. Actually, if you want me to make my own lip balm out of my experience with all of this, the struggles that I personally have had, you have to give this video a thumbs up. And we need to spam the comments saying, we need Clayland lip balms now. And maybe your girl will provide at some point. I guess I never told you guys this. I really had the hardest time with my lips. It is my biggest insecurity. To this day, it still is. I still get super insecure about it because I was bullied for a long, long time about my lips. Everyone would always comment on my chapped lips. They called it crusty crab. All this stuff that it's, it's honestly quite terrible. And it makes me cringe thinking about that. But looking back on that, I now can see that, you know what? We're all going through our own things. We we all have our difficulties and you know what we need to just stand up for one another because at one point you're gonna be the one that's being bullied and you'll probably want somebody else to stand up there for you as well I just wanted to share that I think it's really important that people know that we're not all always gonna be thick-skinned and things hurt us all the time me included hence the reason I am spending all of today testing out these lip balms which we're going to now be trying summer Fridays to find our perfect lip balm. So far, we haven't found the perfect one. We found some good ones, but our lip gold baby has still not shown its face, so we're gonna see. This one is the brown sugar. I can now see what all the fuss is about. This stuff is amazing. It smells just like brown sugar. We're not gonna test it. We're not gonna taste it because uh, we learned from those other times. Hydration is fantastic. But before we say hello to our frenemy, we're gonna try this other one, which is the Blush Dreams. I think this is the lip oil. Okay, I love that they always have a matte look to it. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it is matte, I think. Wait, let me see. Okay, it is cute. The smell is good too. It doesn't smell like anything too crazy. Whoa! Whoa, it is tingling. Why is it tingling? You know when you like brush your teeth or you chew gum and like it's like a tingly minty flavor? That's kind of how this feels. I'm just kind of dumbfounded. I like it though. I think it's actually pretty great. But now for the worst part. Let's see what its rating is. I swear if this one gets a terrible rating too, I might just cry. What on earth is wrong with these people? These were the ratings, which were poor. I think that we never should have added that part because this little friend over here is crushing our dreams. The ingredients are not the best. However, packaging is perfect. Hydration is holistic. No, that's a bad word. hippity doo da day It's great. Anyways, I'm going to go with the almost famous tier for these guys. They were great, they were almost there, but those freaking ingredients. Why did Aquaphor have to be the one? Why does this one have to be the one? All right, y'all, after much consideration, after much testing and pondering, I guess we found our winner. However, I am gonna say that either these or Glossier, oh my gosh, I am rhyming a ton, are also some of the winners. I think that these ones are fantastic, they feel great, they make me feel great, they look fantastic. So I gotta give it to them. They are amazing. However, all of these brands were actually pretty great. Their packaging was fantastic. The smell of them was super awesome as well. And they really did feel good and they made me feel good in my own skin and my own lips, I guess. So scratch the tear. I think they were all super, super great. So I guess now you have to comment your favorite, what your lip balm, lip queen, lip goal lip balm is because maybe I haven't found the perfect one yet and there's still some more because I mean I don't know I don't know that there are any more lip balms out there for me to be trying because I tried literally so many 
but I think that this has helped me a lot to find something that makes me feel good in my own skin, you know? So let me know what your favorite one is if you have any other recommendations. Also, there's kind of a really cool video that I chose for you right here that I need you to come and hang out with me on. So click here, check that out, and I will see you there literally right now.